guys, so quick video today. Just wanted to show you how to install some speakers inside of an F-250 uh, Crew Cab 2006. This is kind of my little tow rig, you know, toy hauler. So uh, basically I wanted some better sound. The factory speakers are absolutely awful. And uh, let me show you guys exactly how to do that. It's actually super easy. So these speakers should be pretty much perfect for the head unit we have, the truck, I know, kind of was a factory replacement. They're about 60 watts RMS. I know it says 350 everywhere. I think that's like peak. Um, let's see what they give you. Give you some new screws. Give you old, little taps so we should be able to crimp on and, uh, and tap in. A warranty card. Well, let's see what the speakers actually look like. So here's what the speaker looks like, guys, and I'm not a big audio nerd, so I don't know everything about this. You guys tell me what I'm wrong about. But basically, my understanding is the reason there are four ways. We've got this bigger overall speaker, and then we've got the two littler, like, tweeters, and then the one in the middle here. So it gives us a wider range of sound. That's, that's my understanding with these. Magnet does seem pretty small. Again, 60-watt RMS and 4-ohm uh, impedance. So this should just work, plug in and work, basically. So the interesting thing with the F-250 in my crew cab is that the rear speakers aren't in the doors. They're actually inside, like, where the seat belt is in the back. So guys, step one is we're ripping this thing off. Next, we're going to take this panel off. Now, I did put a piece of 3M here because mine was rattling. It uh, broke over time, I guess. See, there's my piece of 3M. What we're going to do here is... Squeeze and unclip. Ooh, muggy out today. All right, there's one small bolt here, and I believe that's a seven millimeter. Now with a screwdriver, you're gonna carefully pry that off. And there's one more bolt here. With an extension, you're gonna unscrew this bolt. Now the rest is pretty simple. You just pull the door out. Now you're gonna wanna use a five and a half to get the speaker out. There's not a whole lot of turns on these screws, just really a couple. So now we pull the speaker. Now we unclip the speaker. So there's old and busted and uh, new hotness. That's kind of the difference. Looks like it fits with the factory uh, with the factory holes and everything. So guys, now the thing to do is to cut these pigtails off. I would do it as close to the radio or as close to the plug as you can. Then you're gonna to wanna to take this guy that came with your speakers. You know, just separate it a little. There you go. So, I would assume the one with the orange stripe is mating with this one and vice versa. And then we're gonna slide the barrel on top of it. There we go, we have our crimp. So we take our next set of wire and we uh, find our way to braiding that on as well. Then we stick on our next ferrule. And boom, let's see that it works. Right channel, right channel, right channel. All right, speaker seems to work, guys. Let's uh, button it up. Well, we need to heat shrink it first, actually. I'm gonna unplug it from the speaker for now. That's two done. Now we can pop the speaker back in.
All right, speaker is in there. Let's reassemble the door. There we go. I think I got it. So the next step will be uh, to put the screw back in here. So that's gonna be a switch back to our seven mil. And just to give you guys a good look, in case you couldn't see before, this is where the, uh, the other screw goes. It goes right in here. Now we're gonna get this panel reattached. And the way that works is everything just clips right in. So mine's broken. I have a little 3M tape here. Yours hopefully sits nice and tight. Now that we're in the back here, the trick is to remove that cap. Then we're gonna use a T50 to take the seat belt off. Watch out not to smack the glass, because you can totally break it. It's just a little annoying because the belt pulls on it. Just stuck it behind the seat for now. Now what we need to do is pull this up. Hey, free money. It's really gross looking though. Ew. That one like looks like it welded on. <laughs> and then we take this weather stripping. and we get it out of our way. Now the rest is actually super simple, guys. Keep working around it until finally it's loose and you can just sort of pull it up And you can just sort of throw it over just like that. So there's your speaker, guys, and that's it. It's as easy as the front one. Actually, maybe easier than the front one. Um, I'm not going to show you how to swap it out. I already showed you on the front. It's exactly the same steps. Just do that and you're done. Here's the new speaker with a sound test, and I'm going to try to get real close to it. So we're going to start at about 40 hertz. I can actually hear that other speaker rattling on the driver's side. All right, so that speaker has a pretty good range. Let's try the other one. Let's do this driver door speaker. I mean, that doesn't sound good right there already. Ugh. Highs seem okay on this, actually not too bad, but the lows are really crackling. Yeah, so last thing for this video, guys, I actually wanted to show you this leather that I got for the truck. Um, in the beginning of the video, I'm sure you saw the horrible cloth seats, and uh, I decided to treat myself and get some catskin leather for it to just make the ride a little more comfortable. I think they did a great job. It's a very OEM looking leather. Uh, you know, they reupholstered this. Obviously, the plastic's still old, but the leather's new, so pretty nice. Not, not as expensive as you might think either. This is about 1400 bucks installed. Anyhow, see you guys later.